Hi, my name is Lilia and I'm a technical specialist at Scribus 3D and today I'm gonna tell you about the scanning conditions mm -hmm. so that you can get the best scanning results. Uh, first of all, it would be better if you prepare the room. Uh, you should have at least two sockets and the extension. The sockets will be for your PC and for the scanner. What's also important is the temperature. It will be better to scan in a room with a temperature from 5 to 40 degrees. And also, please consider that you must have enough space around your object. When you walk around the object, you must have at least one meter around this object so, so that you don't run into other different things which might be also in your room. What is also important is the lighting. I would recommend to scan in a poorly lit room and also please try to avoid bright daylight and sunlight. So, when you scan a human, try to scan uh, this person from all angles, for example. Uh, don't forget to scan areas like behind the ears. Or under the elbows, so that you don't lose any important data. It's much more convenient to start scanning a human being. Uh, from top, so downwards. Uh, when you scan an industrial part like this, it will be better to add some additional geometry, like crumble, crumble paper, for example. Yeah. You will have to put these crumbled papers all around this industrial part. Also, when we scan things like this in geometry tracking, um, you should turn this thing around uh, so that you can scan it from all possible angles, like this and like this, so the scanner sees all the small details and holes and hollows um, of this mechanical part. It's a detail from a car, I guess. Yeah. So because you project a uh, grid of white structure light onto a surface of an object. It is really important to scan an object from different angles, um, like this, so that this grid of structure light also changes its position.